name's Brett Moss. I'm the training director at the Net Zero Plus Electrical Training Institute in Los Angeles, California. We've got about 144,000 square feet of state-of-the-art training. It is a living laboratory. My name is Jim Wilson. I'm executive director of the Los Angeles County Chapter, NECA. IBW uh, Local 11 in Nico, Los Angeles, we made a commitment to this building to retrofit it. It will be the largest commercial retrofit net zero building in the country. My name is Marvin Krupke, and I'm uh, privileged to be the business manager of IBEW Local 11 Los Angeles. The lowest hanging fruit is uh, how do we run the building as efficiently as possible. So we looked at all the building systems and brought in the latest technology such that we could run this place on as little a footprint, energy footprint, as possible. Then we look at integrating in the building how we generate power, whether it's photovoltaics or it's wind. Uh, we want to generate power here and, and get the building at a place where we can generate more than we consume, therefore net zero plus. It's a team approach in essence. Our existing contractors have dealt with certain customers, they've done electrical work, but they're moving towards being a total energy solution provider. Then they also have to have the trained workforce that understands these technologies. You know, there's a lot of misunderstanding with, oh, we need a pa solar panel installer, green technicians. No, they're electricians that have sustainable icing. They understand solar, they understand microgrids, they understand energy storage, advanced controls. You need to be this because we create careers, not jobs. My name is Ariana Tate. Um, I kind of teach everything. <laughs> We're teaching all the day school, um, which is anywhere from DC theory all the way up to motors. So it's the whole curriculum for the inside wireman um, apprenticeship. These are our new and up and coming apprentices, so it's almost like nurturing your child, you know, to go out into the world and then they go out there and they can do electricity. Um, and you know that you were part of that learning experience, part of teaching them. My name is Edson Morgan. I'm an inside wireman apprentice. I'm so appreciative of my local because we're always on the cutting edge. Get into motor controls and light sensors and amperage and your current that you have to account for, you know, from wind turbine to solar to uh, water cooling systems. Um, we learn all that right here. We want our contractors and our members to be exposed to and, of, of course, practice the latest strategies that we want our customers to be able to consume in the marketplace. So we want to lead all of them into this. So it's a marketing vehicle also, but it's a teachable moment for all of our members, all of our apprentices and journeymen, and all of our contractors. Twenty thirty in California, all new buildings have to be net zero energy. So this will provide a blueprint to how to get to that and we will be 13, 14 years ahead of the legislation, ahead of the industry. California probably is a little ahead of the curve and we're ahead of California. But this is the way our country will move in the near future. When you talk about saving people money, um, I think they'll be running here. I think they're honestly going to be like, wow, look at not just Local 11, but IBW and Nika, right? They came together and did this. We're, we're just gonna be the leaders. We talked about this being a living laboratory. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna learn everything we can through the process. We're gonna make sure that uh, our journey level workers know what they're in store for, the apprentices know what they're in store for, and of course the electrical contractor knows how to schedule it, how to bid it, how to sell it, how to make sure that when we go out and we install these, these projects in the future, that everybody becomes happy with the, with the end product. So, it, is it a great teaching facility? Yes. Will it be an even better teaching facility? Yes. But we also want it to be a center of excellence. The elected officials, the infrastructure of the city of Los Angeles or the uh, county of Los Angeles, whether it's inspectors or other types of groups, this is what we want to leave an impression on them about, that we lead in terms of electrical excellence, 
and that we're building what they will see years out now.